name's Jonathan Newell and you're watching Step Tales. Today we've arrived in the small town of Alatau, about 25 kilometres from Almaty. This is a special place in terms of the innovative development of the Republic of Kazakhstan and we're going to visit today the IT centre. It covers around about 15 hectares, a large area, and it's an incubator company, a large building that contains many companies in the IT sector for the development of innovative products. Let's go and have a look. The cutting edge of modern technology is being driven forward predominantly by young people. The current occupants of the park are young companies employing young people with bright ideas, sharp minds and a desire to make their contributions to the future as well as place Kazakhstan on the map of high technology, forward thinking countries which have so far been dominated by Europe, America and the Far East. This is the showroom of the IT Innovation Centre and this is the place where they showcase the best of the IT companies that are located within this building and some of them are doing some incredible things and we have over here there's a telemetry company that produces the equipment needed for smart homes and other applications for telemetry. We have an automatic electrical protection system company and computer graphics company that produces the graphic imaging that's used in 3D cinematography. At the moment, the IT park is just about IT, but they have big plans for the future. By the year 2020, this will have grown to 163 hectares and will have innovation companies in all sorts of sectors of industry, not just IT. The, the master plan was laid for the technology park in 2006 with a budget of around $1 billion and is planned for completion in 2020 after a number of stages of implementation. The results of the first stage being what you can see today. The special economic zone on which this technology park is located is being developed in generally four different ways and the whole development will last until about 2020. The second stage of the development is from 2012 to 2015 and at that time the Casbrit University will be built here and also there will be other companies that will come onto the area including a big data centre of the national company of telecommunications. The final stage will be to build a residential centre here, complete with a hotel, restaurants, leisure facilities, sports complex and of course the whole thing will be communicated with the outside world in a very, very good way and a motorway will be built that directly links this whole business park to the nearest airport. But this place is not just about office buildings. Yes, there are offices here and there's many companies that are in these offices. but. There's also factory floors here, and I'm going to take you now to one of the factories that's in this IT park. Part of the IT technology part is this contract manufacturing centre where they're able to make printed circuit boards for different kinds of uh, applications and they make many different kinds because they have a very flexible manufacturing line for the production of printed circuit boards. Let me show you what they've got. Here we have the solder paste machine and with this machine they can have different kinds of stencils here and change them very rapidly within 15 minutes to do a new manufacturing circuit board there. From there we go on to this very flexible surface mount technology equipment where all of these components, passive and active components, are placed onto the solder pattern that has already been printed onto the board there. The one thing that I do like about this is that this is the latest technology. This is the best manufacturing equipment. You can see this equipment here, lead-free approved. So the uh, various European regulations for producing lead-free circuit boards can be manufactured in this plant. And this is the circuit board that is produced by this particular equipment, and you can see it here. Let's go and have a look at it in a bit more detail. 
Such modern manufacturing facilities enable goods produced in Kazakhstan to have higher local content made in conformance to important standards such as ISO 9001 to ensure that the quality which is expected internationally is being met locally. We've taken a small excursion today into the industrial and innovative development programme of Kazakhstan by visiting the IT park in the small town of Alatau and I hope you'll join me again next time when I'll show you more of Kazakhstan as seen through the eyes of a foreigner. Goodbye.